Stakeholders in the education sector have charged the management of the West Africa Examination Council, WAEC, and the National Examination Council, NECO, to adopt the computer-based test, CBT, as a standard way of curbing exam malpractice in the country. President of the Association of Tutorial Schools Operators of Nigeria, Michael Shodunke, maintained that the country was already feeling the negative impact of the vice. My message to government is that, of course, in the past, we've been in the days of, even in, in my jurisdiction, uh, we are always included in the same order. So my advice to the government at the national level is to embrace the transition, as we are the ones that deal with the teenagers. I mean, those students near the ages of 17 to 22, who represent the non-formal educational sector, which most times the government, the government did not really provide aid for them. We are now seeing the result of exam practice over time in Nigeria. Now we have senators that cannot send it well. We have reps that cannot represent us well. We have doctors that have become killers. We have lecturers that cannot even speak, you know, one correct sentence. We have governors that cannot govern well. Most of these were product of the last many years exam, my practice and favorism. Now I can tell you that in jam, I can tell you clearly that there is no my practice. But in WAEC, we are appealing to WAEC. They are improving quite well. We appreciate them too because they are listening to us. But we are appealing to them to do more. They should introduce CBT also. NECO should introduce CBT. Technology can curb exam and practice. If we, the people you are seeing here today are the marshals against exam and practice. They are the ones that agree to fight against exam and practice. Those that are not our members are the ones that don't really like what we stand for. And what this has just stand for is zero tolerance to exam. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.